Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph video number 64. Now I haven't dabbled in matrices since I myself was at school and seen as they only appear on the further maths pure A level modules and I haven't been given the honour of teaching those just yet I didn't think I'd be teaching them for some time to come. However we have signed our year 11 students up to the brand new AQA at Further Maths IGCSE, which by the way I think is an absolutely fantastic qualification. And what happens to be on the specification for that? Well, only the transformation of matrices. So in times of uncertainty, I do what I normally do, and that's to crack open autograph and see if it can help me. And thankfully, it can handle matrices very, very nicely indeed. So let's have a look at it. The first thing you need to do is make sure you've got autograph open in advanced mode. Um, so you'll need to make sure you've got like these radians and degrees signs showing. If you've got it in standard mode, it's not a problem. If you just go to view preferences and go to general, you get the option to swap between the two there. Um, the next thing we need to make sh uh, sure of is as we do for all transformations that are in equal aspect mode. So give that a little click to make sure your X and Y axis are square. Um, we could adjust these numbers, but I can't be bothered just yet. We might as well just crack straight on with the transformations. So first thing I'm gonna do is draw myself a lovely rectangle. So click point mode and I'll just put it here. Oh, now I could claim this was a deliberate mistake, but as you'll see, those points are not lined up with my grid lines. That's because my snap settings are not correct. Well, easy way to sort that out. Um, is just to go up here to axes and their snap settings there. Now they're defaulted to be at one in uh, standard mode, but because you need a bit more accuracy in advanced mode, they're defaulted to 0.1. But if you just change those to one and click okay, you'll be fine. And then if you just give each of your points a little wiggle, it'll snap nicely up there. Perfect. Now, if I draw around all my points and I right click and I'm going to go for a group to shape, there's my lovely little rectangle there. Now, to, to do a matrix transformation on this rectangle literally could not be easier. You select the rectangle, it all points light up, you right click and down the bottom there, as long as you're on advanced mode, is matrix transformation. And again, could that be any easier? All you need to do is tap in the transformation that you want to happen and it will be so. So, I will start off with the classic 0, minus 1, 1, 0. Now if students haven't done matrices they're going to have no clue whatsoever what's, what that's going to do but if they've done a bit of matrix multiplication perhaps they could do a little prediction there and when you're ready click OK and the shape appears there. Now this is where Autograph really comes into its own because you can get to the students to say well what transformations happen there and then you can go a bit dynamic because you can say okay if I select that um, object and I move it one to the right where's purpley going to go? Well he's going to go one up and if I wiggle my top right hand point which point on purpley wiggles and it's that one there. Now let's see what else we can do to spice up matrices. Well firstly if I double click on uh, that object I can very easily change the matrix round so if I take the minus off there and plonk the minus down there what happens well it appears down there what type of transformation is that and so on uh, you will also notice that if you give this a little double click there's loads of uh, user defined ones here so if you want to go straight away into a reflection in y equals x it automatically updates the matrix for you click ok and it's done it for you there Okay, so that's quite a nice function. What you can also do, and again, the eagle-eyed among you may have spotted this, is that if I just go back to say something like a, a rotation of minus 90, with the transformed object selected, this little lightning bolt appears. If you click on that, the animation controller opens, and you, you can do a series of transformations. So that's just one of them done. If you click right, it does it for a second time, a third time, and a fourth time, and so on. So that's quite nice. I'll put it back to one. A couple of other things I want to squeeze in before we finish. Um, if you double click on it, and I'll just go back to uh, everybody's favorite, which is the um, big I, the identity matrix, where hopefully nothing's happened there. If I instead click to open that up and I change that to A and to A, then I can, um, and if I click on it, until, oh sorry, 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 I've double clicked there, I didn't mean to do that. If I click on it and my lightning bolt appears, I can increase the value of A and get the students to explain what they think's happening there. So that's quite nice. And the final thing I want to show is that you can do a series of transformations. If you click on the transformed object and you right click, you could do a matrix transformation on that if you wanted as well. I'm out of time, hope that was useful. Bye for now.